Canada is a nation home to a population of nearly 37 million people. And it's also a world leader when it comes to nuclear technologies and innovation. And today what, what I'll be doing is going through a brief history, a brief timeline of Canada's contributions to the nuclear industry. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Starting off with 1908, a scientist from the McGill University, Montreal, by the name of Ernest Rutherford, is awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on radioactive decay. This would become the foundation of nuclear science. In the year 1940, George C. Lawrence designs one of the world's first nuclear reactors at the National Research Council, the NRC in Ottawa. This design would later evolve into what we know as the CAN-DO, the Canadian Deuterium Nuclear Reactor. It's 1944 now, four years later, and the ZEEP reactor, which is a zero energy experimental reactor, allows Canada to become the second country on Earth to control a nuclear fission reaction. A second reactor would be the world's most powerful reactor to be deployed in the year 1947, which is the NRX, the National Research Experimental. Developments would continue to a large-scale project by Wilfred B. Lewis in 1954 as he initiates the development of the Kandu reactor, collaborating with AECL, Atomic Energy Corporation Limited, Ontario Hydro, and Canadian General Electric Company. Next, in 1957, the NRU, or the National Research Universal Reactor, comes into operation at Chalk River. It will become a world leader in the production of medical isotopes for decades to come. Now AECL makes an extraordinary discovery, which is the development of the first commercial Cobalt-60 sterilizer for food and medical supplies. This technological innovation will save millions of lives and work hand in hand with the NRU reactor. Now, the very first prototype of the Kandu reactor is launched. It's called the NPD, or the Nuclear Power Demonstration Reactor, and is commissioned in Rolfton, Ontario. The NPD is succeeded by Canada's first full-scale nuclear power plant, Douglas Point. It's a joint project between AECL and Ontario Hydro as its main operator. The reactor operated from the years 1967 until 1984. In 1973, all four units at Pickering come online. Nearly 2,060 megawatts of power make it the largest nuclear generating station in the world. Nearly eight units are deployed at Bruce Power ranging from the years 1977 to 1987. And in between, next in 1982, reactors that are two Kandu 6 units are commissioned in New Brunswick, known as Point Le Pro, and Quebec, Jean Tilly 2, which both come online at 635 megawatts. And in 1996, historically the world's largest commercial contract at the time is signed between two countries. Canada and China as two Kandu reactors are sold to China. 2012 marks an important year when two units at Bruce A come online after a refurbishment and make Bruce Power Generating Station the largest operating station in the world. And most recently in 2016, Ontario begins refurbishment of 10 of its 19 nuclear power reactors which is the largest clean energy project in all of North America. Well, there you have it. There is a brief timeline of the Canadian nuclear industry. All details from this timeline were gathered from the Nuclear Factbook from the Canadian Nuclear Association, which you can find in the link in the description below. So thank you so much and thanks for watching.